and now we are recorded so i'm gonna stop this one okay so actually today we are going to talk about spanking as our ancestors way of activating life force i am uh, medyo i hope uh it lessens the noise but yeah why spanking i think uh there are many laws against spanking or, or on the the moment of disciplining your child pero the reason why is we uh we are going to understand why our parents or the old parents i don't know if you if you ever have reached that point of uh you've been spanked by your parents have you experienced oh, yeah. spanking during a child oh yeah <laughs> so with your smile it seems that you receive so much <laughs> <laughs> I, got, Sorry for I, got that. I got those <laughs> for you april you get pinching also mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so not so much spanking <laughs> but 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 on you both of you are parents already right <clears throat> so what what is your way or method on disciplining your children right now do you do you still follow spanking or tapping or slapping yes yun pero diba parang uh, i don't know if if there are law because i i, I read that there are law that prohibits spanking as a way of corporal punishment or as a form of disciplining our children no? so i don't know uh, if it is implemented for what i know if you are in america that the law are strict about their tamaba in terms of, of of harming a child or verbal abuse etc etc pero today we are going to talk about uh, spanking as our ancestors' way of activating life. Although there are some, there are some uh, articles that I found on the internet that uh, this is not the ancestors' way of how disciplining our child. No, but why do we need to to keep a spanking or to slap or or? What is the better term for to use uh, other than spanking? Palo. Uh, Actually, yes. <laughs> yes. It's palo talaga, di ba? At least you still know the word palo, no? For us, yeah. we, we just call it palo. Eh. Dahil kasi yung word spanking, parang ang dami in English, there are many other words depending on the spelling of the word. But the pronunciation for me, it's the same, no? Pero for us, palo, no? We call it pow pow in my house. Oh, pow pow. <laughs> Oy, na, 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 nice to know that there, there, the, you use that word pow pow, no? Parang. Anyway, kasi, di ba, parang, for, for, for us, I don't know why the ancestor want us to spank, to, to give us palo. Especially, when when we do something wrong no? or if we violate some rules and regulation on how to live our life at home and especially towards uh, our uh, towards other people but the question is how uh, during when do you give palo nowadays to your children Ayan, si Papa OJ, thinking. At si Mama April, go, go, go. I'll go. Um, so we rarely do it now. We did it when they were younger. Just to stop behaviors that we don't want to happen. Like, right then and there. So they know... From the beginning, that is a no. And then usually we just 
verbally threaten them <laughs> with a spanking. And then you're just like, okay. <laughs> what about your Papa Oji? Yeah. Oji, my, Oji. Uh, my first one, we, we spanked her once, really. I gave her a good one when she was younger. And uh, from then on, we, we like April said, we would just have to say, do you want Paulo? And she, she got it. She got it. Um, our second one, she's five now. She never really got like a serious thinking. So she is a little more nasty. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, there, there's times where it gets close where it's like, I'm both of um, but mostly now it's we only really threaten them with it, I guess, when it's something that is dangerous or is causing or is something at risk of causing them or their sister harm. Both of you have mentioned that you are uh, doing that. So a question came to my mind. There is an age requirement. What I mean is, uh, there is a certain age period that you should give your child uh, a, a palo, a spanking. And yeah, yun muna, first question. For you, pa, uh, Papa OJ. Uh, what age? So uh, how, uh, how old are your children or child, baby? Uh, eight and or seven and five. So, so both of them still receive palo. No, no, we stopped. We only really did it once. Uh, to the oldest one when she was like maybe two. Uh, two years old. What about yeah. you, Ano, Mami April? Uh, Mami, a Mami April, because we are talking about spanking, so I, I will call you <laughs> Papa and Mommy. So, this is legal. <laughs> not illegal terminology so mommy april so uh how many children do you have three you, you have three. <laughs> you look younger but anyway so how old are they uh 19 14 and 7. Wow. Oh my you have a 19 year old yeah <laughs> I can't, I can't believe it. Soon to be Lola? No, I hope not. Wait, if that is going to happen, then one of those, <laughs> those <laughs> 19 or the 14 year old will definitely get a spanking. Yeah. So, talking about age, um, the last time I spanked a seven year old was, i am got to be like a month ago <laughs> or something. Because she's the youngest, she's the baby, and she's the spoiled princess. Mm -hmm. The age is so big. The gap is so big between her brothers, and she's the girl, the baby girl. So she gets away with a lot of stuff. And she's very testy. Um, my husband would, if the boys did anything like really really bad now they would probably get yeah Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> wow i, I still get can uh, get over with with the, your age plus your eldest son you, uh, I <laughs> you still look young but anyway thank oh, you <laughs> that's amazing huh? but uh yeah uh, but uh, uh for me too no but um, uh, I am an, an uncle, kasi, no? so I am an uncle. But for me, uh, my sisters, uh, both of my sisters here in the Philippines are single mom, no? single mom. So I I used to assist them in growing their child, no. And sometimes, if their mother complain about them to me, so I'll intervene. So I will show them the masculine and fatherly image to them by giving them discipline. Yeah, talking about that. Who, if you are a couple, who are you, who among you? 
uh, if you're a couple, who among the parents will take responsibility of spanking or or ano? Is it the dad or the mom? Both. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That for, for for me when I was growing up, I I just remember. I just remember that. Uh, I, I, we have uh, I just remember that uh, when my mom, yeah, I, I still, I received some spanking also from my mom, no? Pero in, in such major cases of very naughtiness, no? Uh, they play role, no? Usually, uh, my father will act as the one who, ano, talagang monster. Para sa amin, we call, we call monster in terms of of disciplining, no? Then, my mom would all, always tell, oh, would you like me to tell your father if you don't listen to me, ha? Parang ganon. So, yung mother, my mother will do the lesser uh, hitting or, or spanking. Pero if she's really get mad at me, I, I, I also receive spanking from her. No? Although, you know, no? uh, in every spanking or in every like that, no, parang there are lessons to to be learned. Uh, on your on your on your life, as right now we are adults, you know, What is the most memorable experience that you have? The most hardest and painful spank that you receive from your parents. <laughs> Sabay ganun, no? I think, April? Okay. I remember. <laughs> I don't even remember what I did. But my dad <laughs> like to the wall. And it went like this. Like, <laughs> and I... I'm scared. <laughs> I don't remember what happened. I don't remember what I did. But that was it. I was getting choked and <laughs> poked on my face. Like the... <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. wow, that is so intense. How old yeah. are you, Dad? Uh, on that I was time? a teenager. I'm sure I did something really <laughs> <bad. laughs> mm. What about you, Papa OG? <laughs> Do you Mom? remember? Oh, yeah. We were, uh, we were at a family party. It wasn't even at our house. It was at my family's house. And I was wrestling with my cousins. And one of them, I was, I'm the smaller of the cousins. One of them like pushed me and uh, we knocked down a frame. Uh, and then the frame fell the And I got blamed for it. And so my dad was drunk, and uh, in front of the whole family, picks me up by my throat. Wow! Holds me in the air. What the fuck did you do? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Wow, that was so intense. No, that was so intense. For me, I also remember. There's a reason for that. Uh, I was, I think, uh, how old I am at that time? I think 12, already in high school, I think, no? Uh, the, uh, the reason, I almost get burned by my tatai because he's so mad and also do that one and and they get, you know what is Ting Ting? Uh, what is Ting Ting is uh, the, the broom that is made from the stick of coconut leaf like that no so he hit me on 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 my face then the the lashes of of that i know it wounded no so i got a, a mark of of hitting the reason why because i i almost dropped my little sister no because i i was still a kid that time pero i was asked to uh, to take care of my sister, younger sister, not to become a kuya. Then when he learned that I almost 
do something bad to my sister due, due, to, neg due to negligence, no? Uh, my father get very angry, very mad. I don't know what, what, what is the worst term to use, no? Because he turned to become monster. <laughs> he become monster. Uh, I don't know, no? Siguro because of... Uh, right now, when I contemplate on that, I, I, I realize na parang yes. Kasi little sister ko siya eh. She's my little sister. And I think uh, she'll get... Uh, I think our parents will get mad if one of us has something bad happen. No? And... That is also the reason why most of us are, for me on my part, no, receiving, even me, uh, I receive spanking or, or, or punishment because I do something bad that might endanger my life, that might endanger my, 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 uh, my well-being. No? Pero I learned that spanking is a form of discipline. of correcting uh, or molding us uh, according to what they want us to be. You know? And I think every parent has their uh, thought of their children must be in a good shape or in a good path that uh, they might become stable in the near future. You know? And I think this is why the ancestor are allowing spanking because it's not only that you want that person to be physically in pain or threatened, but in every bit that you receive, there is a lesson that they should learn. No? They should remember the pain or the reason why they receive that pain. What is... Uh, the pain is all about, no? Pero, technically, uh, when I contemplate, when a person was born into this world, it is not our parents who give us first slapping, spanking, no? It was the midwife, and it was the doctor who used to deliver us uh, uh, to attend our birth that gave us The first is spanking. Actually, it's not the spanking, no? But, ano bang tawag? Yeah, it is a tap, a gentle tap on the back. No? The reason for that is they want to clear out the throat area, whatever is uh, blocking the passage of the airway, so that when they tap it, the baby will release the first voice, the cry, the uha. No? It means that they grasp the air of this world that we are living. No? That it is a form of initiation that they are, wel they are being welcomed here in this planet, in this world. So it means from the time that we were born, no? from the time that we are born in this world, the spanking or the beating It's like an initiation of activating life force into our being. And in order for life to come in, there, there must be something to come out. For example, in this glass of water, or in this cup, no? in order for this cup to be filled with you, I should empty first what is inside and clean it. So this is the same way that our ancestors have taught us Now, if you are being filled with those energies that is not desirable, we have to expel out those we have to expel out those negative thoughts, those negative energies that is uh, that is what you call that that is uh, coming to you or something like that no. So spanking, it's not just uh, uh, it's, it's not just a, a, a corporal punishment, but it is also a form of of straightening up our chakras, our energies. Uh, please talk for a while. Uh, I'm gonna attend to the for for a minute. Ano yan? 
upang kay lahat. Almost one. Kaya ba ng kaya 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 ng Kung araw na kayo magtrabaho. <laughs> Hindi, joke lang. Bigay mo muna, tapos... Yung pagbigay materialis. Ah, pag... Oo, uh, yung labor, mag-i-block ka. Mura lang. Pat mura lang. Sige. <laughs> Dito, <laughs> ang pataan. Mag-i... Sige na. Sige na. Sige na. Sige na. Sige na. Sige na. Sige Pabili na lang materialis, tapos don't worry sa labor. Malis ka pa. Balik na lang po kami, sir. Ah. Hindi ko wala natin sa materialis. Ah. Sobrahan mo yun. Mayroon mong limandaan. Mayroon pa pang materialis. Ay, nasa ba yung pera? Binigay mong pera sa akin? Yun na nga yun. For hundred. Asa nung ano po? Yung pag po. Saglit, saglit lang, saglit lang. Okay. Magpalit <laughs> kayo, bye. Tapos Are umalis you... at mag-withdraw ka ng kayo. Are you back at your house? Hindi na kayo, hindi na kayo, hindi na kayo, hindi na kayo. Yeah, we're done, yeah. Did you know you're in college? Where's your college? Uh-oh. Um, it's a private school. It used to be a Catholic school uh, in Arlington, Virginia. Um, uh, I might be going to Austin in October. Really? Yes. I'm studying uh, facial acupuncture. There's like a workshop seminar thing. Awesome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool. Let me know. We'll do lunch or something. Or... I did. <laughs> How long is the the thing? It's three days. Like, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jammed into three days. It seems intense. So it's not just cosmetic acupuncture, but it's like, you know, for Bell's palsy and awesome. J stuff and whatever else. Awesome. Yes. There's, I can't wait to travel again. <laughs> I got my shot. I got my first shot. <laughs> my first COVID shot. Are you going to get it? <laughs> uh, I'm not. We caught COVID. So. I do, but I was like, I feel like I need to just because of healthcare stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're in healthcare for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Why don't you have it? I'm, not, I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> I'll just get it. <laughs> Rather than hearing it from you, let me just get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, my husband and I got it in. Last November. Oh, nice. <laughs> You've been had it. <laughs> huh? You've been having it. You've had it for a while now. Yeah. And um, what was it? I think I just got over some of the after effects stuff. Like, I thought I didn't have really any, but I did. I had, like, shortness of breath. And I'm like, it's not just because I gained, like, COVID weight, right? <laughs> I'm like, this can't be just because of that. I'm like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I hear> you.
<laughs> when did you guys get it? Mm, my birthday. Ah, you know when we got it? I think we had a, our anniversary is October, and we went to a different city, and then we got it like two weeks later. And I'm like, uh, yay, happy so anniversary. So now can you hear me? Yes. yes. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I think I have the wrong cord because we're on a, uh, we are fixing again. Just need to fix the, the pipe system, the water system. But anyway, uh, even like, uh, like the, in our home, diba? Parang in order for, for I know we need to tap, we need to, to, to fix up, to clean up everything in our life so that. Uh, life will be uh, 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 smooth flowing. It has uh, it has something to uh, to move freely, you know. And sometimes, kasi this aspect of of tapping or or slapping activates life force, you know? and it it and there is a uh, the right way, you no? Know, parang where on the body that we should hit the person. In martial arts, I don't know if you ano, para meron silang specific point system, di ba? Uh, point system to to attack the person in order to be hit. So as in acupuncture, there are uh, puncture or uh, ano, acupoints na when you stimulate that area will give benefit to, to other. Pero... Uh, pangalan nito, April, di ba, you, you are doing acupuncture. Uh, in, in, your, in your lessons or in your uh, knowledge as acupuncture, is there any uh, special uh, health benefit if you stimulate the back area? Area? If you spank the baby or the, the person in their butt. Um, I know there's like qigong stuff where you do body drumming, and that just you know wakes wakes up and helps circulate the qi and energy and everything like that. But that's for you. You do it all over your body, including your face and your scalp, um, the butt area in general. Um, so there are two points in the root, like uh, between the anus and the tailbone, and also at the perineum. Um, and those activate like the central lines of the body, the mm -hmm. front and back, and also. It's used for emotional things, like if um, people are like stuck, they're stuck in some kind of emotion. You there's like you poke the root <laughs> exactly, so they can wow. let it go. <laughs> Actually, I'm so happy to learn from that. No, I'm I'm so happy because it really connects. Yes. <laughs> Do you still have some? I I'm gonna squeeze you, extract everything from you. <laughs> speak up, speak up, more and more and more. Sure. <laughs> like that area? So, uh, yes, on that butt area, diba? Because diba, most of the ancestors are on parenting uh, in the Filipino. Uh, usually, they said, when you spank, uh, uh, when you make palo, you should palo only on that area. No, don't beat on 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 on, on different parts. Then, because it will be an act of violence. Even if, um, have you been? I don't know. You know the fraternities, diba? Parang there are organization, the gangster, and they would have this initiation. They paddle it on the butt area. So parang parang ganon, no? Parang uh, they 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 do uh, hitting on the butt area. But it's nice information that you ano na parang 
to let ano uh, since this is recorded I will take down notes of on that na parang mm-hmm. on that area you release emotions of the past etc etc what about you ano Papa OJ well it, when it comes to trigger point on your area uh, is there any health benefits when you do re- uh, stimulating the butt aside from sexual eclabu no we we're not allowed to touch down there we'll go to jail <laughs> it's yeah. uh in, in california you're you're not allowed to touch anything down no there. happy ending no. um <laughs> um So, what about like pelvic specialists? You know. I, yeah, I, there are pelvic specialists, and there. Are, I don't know what they do, but I'm sure they go down there and in there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, in my scope and what I do. Nah. Okay. Ah, oh, when you talk about the ano, uh, the pelvic specialist, what what? Are they also a massage therapist or or what? Physical therapist. Yeah, some massage therapists. There, there's a a friend of mine I know that does um, Mayan womb healing, and so sometimes it requires her to do work inside. The yoni, the yoni, the yoni massage at saka ano tawag don? Ling ling nam, no? Uh, anyway. On 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 my hilot, no. Uh, I think uh, I don't know if there is a PDF copy, no. Because I, in the massage part of hilot, uh, we also work on the butt here in the Philippines, no. But we just stimulate that that part, no, because it is relaxing. Honestly, for for me. Okay, I'll confess. I have some some condition right now. It pains my butt. <laughs> Mer- meron akong tensa. I don't know kung ano yung, what what is that, no? Parang there there is an infection nearby. I I get a wound, a small wound near on my on my butt because of an accident. I, uh, lately I fell down on a tree, so it it hurts me, no? Eh, eh, uh, super bad. And what I notice, uh, what I notice about this problem, no, when, when, what I notice on this problem that I have is, it affects my movement. It affects when when I talk, when I stand, when I walk, even when I la- when I laugh, or even when I eat, no, parang it gives me so much pain. So it seems that. Those area, those part, those part in your body, when it is affected, uh, when it uh, when when you get affected by those, uh, with that, no, parang it. I take alam pala, dumating na yung worker just for a moment, no, may aso pala. I'm gonna look. <laughs> in uh, trigger point stuff like we do glute releases and stuff and piriformis stuff but mm-hmm. anything like in that area down there like we don't really touch mm. yeah like there are some acupuncture schools that when you're in school they make you needle those points with your classmates and I'm just like <laughs> it wasn't my school my school is very conservative and run by Korean like very Christian Korean <laughs> so there was no going down there yeah. but uh, the other schools definitely do it I've seen I've worked for an acupuncturist that did it and I was like But he was like legit from China, like acupuncturist. Because the one I work with now, like, yeah. no, <laughs> it's it's mostly like elbows, the fingers and knees, the toes and head <laughs> and ears. 
even when he does the points below the belly button, I notice he doesn't really do where it's supposed to be because he doesn't want to ask them to pull their like underwear down lower. I'm yeah. like, that's it's supposed to be lower than that. What are you doing? <laughs> so tricky. It's such like a, a a risky thing nowadays. Yeah. It's not but I'm in the room too, so it should be a little bit more okay because he's a witness. Right, right. <laughs> oh, America. Yeah. Ano, par- parang uh, what I ano yung yung legal legality matters. Even though we as a therapist or or as, as a yeah massage therapist or a healer, no, we we do it with love. Pero since they are not attuned to the level of our attunement, what they sense is not love of healing, but they they transform it or translate it as a form of less. Kaya most of them, that's the problem. That's the problem, the real problem of of, of doing this work that we have. Although like yung points na sinabi ni, uh, sina, uh, what April have said, no? Parang, it activates fertility kasi. It activates fertility. So, at the same time, going back to, to our topic na Parang that area is usually uh, technically uh, uh, described as uh, um, as 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 a point of power because we use our butt that area the sacrum uh, the tailbone uh, to get all our courage and it pertains to that throne of power that most people nowadays are seeking to have especially during the presidential election it means they they, they are on seat of power or it means a special position of power no but that power um, describes a person of who he is and what lessons or or knowledge that person possess aside from uh from 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 this no uh do you know why a person becomes bully uh i think it is a, a, a an, an emotional and psychological problem and the reason why as 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 a parent we teach our children to be trained how to use the toilet no do you th- have as a parent do you experience that or uh, uh, why do you need to train your children or your new babies to use the bathroom uh, let's start with a mom mommy april <laughs> uh, one <laughs> so it's easier on me <laughs> that's true <laughs> and do they don't make a mess all over the place and so they we can take them to school <laughs> or they can start going to school <laughs> that's right hey, Papa OJ, have you experienced yeah same and so we don't have to keep paying for diapers <laughs> <laughs> yeah. true actually aside from that making life easier to the parents no, and that they don't do mess. The reason why we teach our our children uh, to go to the bathroom is that first is that they should need to learn their own body. They should have control over their emotions or feeling. Because if you feel irritable because you are going to pee or poo, no, you have to control it. And don't just pee everywhere or poo everywhere you want. You have to learn how to use the bathroom, to the toilet. No? So sensitivity and, and, uh, and being caring also is being taught during the, the bathroom 
bathroom or the toilet training, no? The toilet training. And then at the same time, during that, because you don't just teach the uh, okay, you pull, then go after pulling, go out. You teach them cleanliness, diba? Uh, you train them cleanliness to take care of themselves, to clean up their mess. Uh, and by cleaning up their mess, you teach them also how to be kind to other, to be mindful of other that is going to use the bathroom. So with that, if, if a person have been taught well no, uh, on the use of their bathroom, they are more sensitive and they can handle the, their emotions when they grow up. And people that are easily angry and, and they used to bully other people. No, parang what I learned this and I, as I, I studied, observed them, na probably they haven't been taught the proper toilet training because they can't handle their emotions well. They easily get burst out and they want others to follow them, to fix them. Some something bossy type. The bossy type na okay, do that. Let me have your 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 baon, your sandwich, or etc. etc. No, it's a form of bullying. So proper toilet training will will help us to have a good mannered children. If we have a good mannered children, it means they will become a member of the community with a kind and polite behavior, a good behavior. That will also lead them to become a good leader in the future, that they might rule or govern uh, a community or even our country well. And a good leader, the one that who will because because ano eh, yung, uh, we talk about the bat and the bat is we don't sit with using our face naman diba we we sit the chair using <laughs> using our bat no so it's all having having that uh, area uh, in good condition it means that you have the power or, or authority to balance yourself and to think well. At the same time, our butt is connected to our mouth. Why is that so? Our mouth is connected to our butt. <laughs> because what comes into our mouth goes out to our butt no parang the more that it is healthy and you are relaxed and you are clean i think the more calmer and the more kind your mouth will produce no because sometimes no on that area it's not only on on the butt area diba pero pag sa babae uh, you you're having menstruation and it goes <laughs> it goes all through on that area no parang sinasabi dito uh, if, if if a woman some have menstruation i don't know if it that is true many women during their menstruation becomes irritable is it general or it just only selected i don't have menstruation mom april so answer that for me <laughs> uh not all women get irritable. N not all women have premenstrual symptoms. Ah, <laughs> uh, so not all. Oh, no. so that is only a cheese miss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so at least, diba, we learn. No, pero on that area, we have, we really have to, uh, to, to, to care for that area because it's 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 important for a person na uh, to be 
always in a proper disposition with other people. Because if you are irritable towards other, you're just also inviting some pain, some uh, some problems, no? And the reason why we 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 are hitting our children, spanking our children, when when they commit mistakes, when they they do wrong, no? Because we want to correct them properly, and this is the way of our ancestors to activate life force within us. So as as we activate life force, they are being guided on how to live their life going to the future. So I think this is all that I have for now. Do you have any questions? About spankings? Oh, not not necessarily about spanking or about anything else with, with regards to your class. I do. <laughs> okay, sige. What's that? So I did the tawas and I burnt one of the papers. Does that mean I have to do that one over or is that part of it? <laughs> you have to do it over. But that burning, if you burn that, there is also a message. Okay. Why do you, uh, what do you feel when it gets burned? <laughs> I freaked out. I thought I was gonna burn my house. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, actually that's the first uh, initial reaction. Pero do you think that the person wants? Uh, have you feel that uh, the reason why is maybe that person doesn't want to be read? Doesn't want to be read. Uh, oh. Uh, to, Maybe it was the first paper, and it, I was doing it on somebody else. <laughs> Atero, who is your subject? Husband. <laughs> so, who do you make tawas? Hmm? Who Who do you make tawas? Oh, my husband. Ah, so your husband probably the reason why it is burned at your first paper. Probably uh, your husband is a skeptic or the one parang does not willing to participate, no? Probably uh, one reason or probably uh, your husband is hiding something. Nako, lagot, no? <laughs> that you don't want to, uh, that, that he doesn't want you to know. So if he's hiding something, the is it necessarily from me or from other people? <laughs> Probably the, he have some information that doesn't he doesn't want not only for you but for everyone. Uh, a personal secret, parang ganon. Okay, good to know. Because oh. because <laughs> ano eh? Probably I don't know because when. When when someone will do tawas or, or, or undergo the, the session of tawas, they will think that you know how to read it, no? And they will be afraid if if they will see their secrets. So I don't know what secret is that. Pero on the second paper, uh, how many paper did you use? Three. <laughs> Pero yung second and third? They were okay. They were okay, no? Pero the last, uh, interpretation if the verb the uh, if the paper get burned no totally is it totally burned or you have a spare paper left of burning or part of paper meron have you captured it on camera anong yep. uh oh sige I'll, I'll gonna watch that one so <laughs> if if there is a piece that been left you will read that okay. you will read that paper for example if 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 the paper just if the paper just left is like this kikita ba asan ba just like this you you ima, uh, you not uh, ano parang you read what shape does it make no so that might be uh, some message still message on that part no Pero probably if the second and the third card is 
you still have the the image then that's okay that's okay so you just read it means there's a message and sometimes uh, if the whole paper get burned uh, the message there is aside from those secrets no uh, that person is been covered with some negative energies that need to deal with probably stress maybe you you ask your husband after work so talagang burn out pa siya noon oh I, i know he definitely is <laughs> you on kinulit mo kasi <laughs> Oh, uh, what if I accidentally got candle wax on the paper? It's okay. You accidentally have a candle wax on the paper. It's okay. And on the video, do I have to tell you what my interpretation is? Or do I just show you what it is? You can, ano, on the video, you can make parang subtitle. Hindi naman subtitle. Okay. Uh, parang you explain on on writing your experience no so you just show the video then you have to write on the paper or di pala ano tawag dito sa screen yung parang document your experience about it you try to explain on the first paper it got burned and this is what i think why is it is burned because it's my first time probably i'm nervous about that but i sense that there are some other things that probably my my client doesn't want to share or probably because the reason why okay lang po the reason why it was tawag dito burned because uh, the client is burned out and very tired but the second card it appears like this and that and that kind of ganon ganon and yun so you you make aside from the video that you present you create a document explaining your Or, or or writing down your experience or you might also want include that already on the video pero if you include that on the video it will be longer it can be 30 minutes it's okay if it's 15 30 minutes one hour two hours three hours it's okay if 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 you want that matter if you don't want to write so in every uh, stroke you explain what you see and what you feel so para Uh, that is also for you, kasi, no? Oh, okay. Is there anything else? Any question? Yeah. Uh, I submitted mine, but for the sake of time, I only recorded the first one. Is that okay? That's okay. That's okay. Pero you you make articles. You write your experience. <laughs> okay, I'll gonna check okay. this, no? So that's okay, no? Pero on the following exercise, I think, yeah, you still have, if you've done that, the tawa sa papel, the next will be, I think, I think it's pulse reading na, and you're going to, ano na, uh, to the unit three, no? So after after reading do, your assignments, I'll, I'll 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 give you another lessons. Uh, uh, unit three, last lesson will be ritual. So unit three, you are going to watch it all. Muna, siguro you still ha- you, you will have another month. Then your final exam. I know not yet, no. After this, you have pulse reading. Tama pulse reading. You do the adek kilobansa papala. You you will have kilobansa, so it's far papala from unit three. You will have kilo you you will have kilobansa. Then after kilobansa, you will have pulse reading. Then after pulse reading, you will have the unit three. So if there are no more questions, I have to say goodbye. Yeah. Right, okay, <laughs> go ahead, April. Um, what oil? Use because I just I have coconut oil. <laughs> use coconut oil. Okay. If you don't have coconut oil, use nutritive oil, but avoid uh, avoid using petroleum. Ah, ano? Mineral oil. Avoid using mineral oil. Cooking oil will be good also. On the video, there were herbs in 
His oil? What were the herbs? Ah, you will learn that on unit three. But wait, we're gonna show you something now because I, I'm going to talk to you on how to use or to make your own oil, healing oil. The oil can be also used in your uh, on your oil lamp, no? Because you are going to to make an oil lamp. Is this the one that you've seen on the video? I think so. Huh? It was just uh, herb and oil. There wasn't color. Okay. It was mostly brown. Actually, because ito, this one comes from uh, the. I just put oil on this, no. Pero the content of this oil is comes from sikihor. Pero you can do. You you just buy an oil. For example, this is uh, coconut oil. Then put some herbs on it. Uh, this the herbs that I, ano, I put here is ano tawag dito? Pako, sage. No, I forgot the the, oh. the the herbs for toothache. Cloves, cloves. It looks like cloves. Uh oh, it cloves. So I used to infuse that then put on on teeth or rub it on the skin. Uh, for pain relief no? so you can what? put you you can infuse ginger to your oil put some chili powder put some uh, chili you can put some uh, tawag dito, uh, chili ginger or like this one uh, tawag dito, clove or uh, anything else no Pero I'm gonna teach you that one. We have uh, a video on that on how to make an oil for yourself. So don't worry about that. Okay. So as, aside from the oil, is there anything else? No more? So oh, thank you. we have to end this. We, I have to say goodbye and see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.